So who, my dear friends, is ready for some empties? Can I get a whoop whoop? Raise the roof? No? It might be a little bit excessive. In all seriousness though, I do have a lot of empty products to share with you guys and I do have quite a few like new ones or ones that I haven't mentioned before which makes me a little bit excited. Not a ton of makeup, the majority of it is skincare and hair care because that is what I go through the most. But hopefully you guys will enjoy hearing about some of the products that I finished up and what I thought about them. Let's start off with the makeup first. This one makes me really sad. It is the Kevin Aquan The Volume Mascara. I absolutely loved this mascara. I mentioned it in a few favorites videos. I think I've talked about it. I've definitely used it in a lot of videos. I used it basically every single day for as long as I've I sort of had it. It's kind of drying out now. I feel like it's sort of coming to the end. It's probably not that much more left in there, but it is an awesome mascara. It has a teeny tiny little brush, which I love because it means you can get right in close to the lashes and really sort of get the product worked on them. It is a, a tubing mascara, so it creates little tubes around your lashes and it gives you volume and length and definition and then it's easy to come off. It doesn't um, it doesn't like wear away on your skin. You don't get like black circles around your eyes. It just comes off in little tubes. It's a little bit freaky at first, not gonna lie. It looks like your eyelashes have fallen out, but then you look at your eyeballs and they're still attached and you realize it's just the mascara coming off. Another oldie but a goodie that is slowly died on me is the Falsies Volume Express. This is the Waterproof Everlasting Mascara. The Falsies was all the rage on YouTube a while back and it is a really good formula, it's a really good brush, it gives you volume and length and it's just a great drugstore mascara. I have way too many at the moment so I won't be repurchasing this one straight away but I do foresee at some point one of the falsies will be back in my collection again. I also have a foundation. This is the Revlon Colorstay Whipped Cream Makeup. This one has a tiny bit left, but I felt like I was probably um, ready to share this in an empties video. I use the shade 200 Sand Beige. It's a really great match for my skin. This one is really long wearing, like it's a big sister, the original Coverstay. Oh, not Coverstay, sorry, Colorstay. Um, this one just is a little bit... I feel like it's a little bit creamier, more like a cream gel as opposed to a liquid and it lasts a long time but it doesn't set as fast as the Color Stay, the original Color Stay does so you do have a little bit more time to work with it. I do really enjoy this. Again, I have a ton of foundations including the original Color Stay in my collection at the moment so I'm probably not going to rush out and repurchase this one straight away but at some point I may because I did enjoy it. We will see. A skincare product I used up is the Emma Hardy Amazing Face Moringa Cleansing Balm. This one has a lot of hype surrounding it and I can see why. It was a really nice product. If you've never used a cleansing balm before, it's kind of like a hybrid between a cleansing oil and a cream cleanser. It, 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 it goes on and it feels quite quite oily, quite creamy and you sort of blend it onto dry skin and really massage it into your skin. It will break down all your makeup and um, sort of cleanse your skin and then you remove it with a warm face washer. This one actually comes with one which I think is great and I really enjoyed it. I found that I quite enjoyed the scent. A lot of people say the scent is absolutely amazing and they love it. I think it's quite unique and I don't think everyone will actually like the scent of this. It also is quite Pricey. I think I paid about $65 for this um, from an online store and it was called, I think it was called Bed Bath and Unwind. I will try and link it in the description box below if you guys um, would like to check it out. You can get it on Feel Unique as well as I think on the Emma Hardy website. If you want to try it, it is a good product. It's definitely one of an investment and I don't know if it necessarily did any more for my skin than me just using a cheaper cleansing oil to break down and remove my makeup and then just a cream cleanser. I don't know if this necessarily did a better job than my usual skincare is what I'm trying to say, but I did enjoy it. I probably will repurchase it at some point. I just think that the price is what holds me back a little bit. More new skincare. This is the MAC Mineralized Volcanic Ash Exfoliator. I picked this up while I was in LA back in April. I really quite enjoyed this one. It's a unique product. It smells very day spa like, like day spa mud or something like that. It's quite a nice smell and it's it's quite gritty but then it sort of smooths out to nothing. It does a good job of exfoliating your skin. If you don't like rough physical exfoliators and you're probably not going to like this one because it, it does start off quite abrasive like I said and then it sort of blends down to, to a smooth product. I liked it. 
I don't know whether I'd repurchase it just because I have other exfoliators and things like that that I want to try and this would be probably relatively expensive here in Australia so I liked it um, I just don't know if it was a miracle worker this product I loved and would have already repurchased it's the Jurgens or Jurgens Natural Glow Gradual Daily Tanner. This one is the Plus Fir Plus Firming Daily Moisturizer. I don't know whether it's Jurgens or Jurgens because I grew up. I grew up like it was so long ago. When I first saw this, American YouTubers were always saying Jurgens, and then I've recently heard people saying Jurgens. So I don't quite know which is the correct which is the right way to say it but either way it does an awesome job of giving you a gradual tan it moisturizes your skin you get color basically from the first use I have the fair to medium skin tones one now that I've got a bit of a tan I think I'm going to grab the um, medium to dark just so I can get a like more color build on the color that I've already got but it it's not it has like a quite nice scent it doesn't smell like fake tan every now and then you get a tiny whiff of it but it's nowhere near as strong as your typical normal fake tan and like I said it gives you a great natural coverage it is the lazy girls um, tanning product if you don't want to have to worry about gloves and mitts and products and streaking and things like that use this massage it into your skin make sure you really massage it in well don't leave like any spots make sure you wash hands afterwards because it will give you color but other than that it's easy to apply it gives you a great gradual tan if you're somebody who does fake tan and wants to like maintain your tan i would recommend this as well as a moisturizer because it will not only help maintain your fake tan but also add extra color if, if that's what you want keep that color maintained dirty works is a brand that's recently popped up in target this is their coco cabana coconut wash it is just a coconut scented shower gel smells lovely wasn't too expensive a lot of the products kind of look a little bit like a ripoff of soap and glory don't quite know about that but they do have a range and it kind of reminds me a bit of soap and glory only it's like purples as opposed to pinks but um, it was just a really nice shower gel if you like coconut scents then maybe check it out next time you're in Target. Another face cleanser that I have here is the First Aid Beauty Face Cleanser um, fab, with Fab Antioxidant Booster. It's supposed to remove surface oils, makeup, dirt and grime. This was just a nice everyday cleanser. It didn't dry out my skin too much. It didn't do anything amazing. I don't think it necessarily has any ingredients in it that it's supposed to necessarily like fight acne or fight aging or anything like that it just says the formula is influ infused with a blend of botanical antioxidants to stave off abuse of the elements it is well suited for anyone with sensitive skin so it, it's just a nice I, I would agree it's just a nice everyday cleanser won't necessarily rush out to repurchase it because I've got a ton of other cleansers that I want to try you guys know I love my Bath and Body Works shower gels these um, Shea and Vitamin E ones are amazing they just have this little bit of extra moisturization on top of your usual typical shower gel and they smell fantastic this one is the Twilight Wood scent I grabbed this travel size while I was in LA and I've just used up all of them now that I picked up but this one smells so so yummy I would highly recommend them if you do want to try and get some Bath and Body Works shower stuff in Australia I would recommend checking out eBay or also um, uh, Bed Bath and Home Bath but I, I can't remember the exact website but again I will link that in the description box below I have mentioned it before I did a whole video on where you can get Bath and Body Works products in Australia so I'll include that so you guys can check that one out Bath and Body Works please come to Australia pretty please with sugar on top I love your products Okay, face wipes. You guys know I love me some face wipes. A couple of brands that I haven't tried before. These are the Essenza Fuss Free Naturals. These are the Cleanse and Exfoliate Natural Facial Cleansing Wipes with Citrus and Pineapple Enzymes. Got these in like a freebie bag with like that skincare bag a little while back that Priceline did when you spent a certain amount of money you could buy the bag for free. I think I did a whole video on it. Anyway, um, I didn't mind these. They weren't amazingly mind-blowing, but they also weren't bad either. They were just your standard everyday makeup wipe. Probably will stick to my simple kind of skin ones just because I like them teensy bit better. I also have here the Swispers Rosehip 
uh, 25 Rejuvenating Facial Cleansing Wipes. I got these to try as part of the Beauty Directory's expert panel. I'm on a panel where I get sent products to review and do surveys on them and things like that. And this is one of the products. These are supposed to be al alcohol free and suitable for all skin types with rosehip and aloe extracts. This is a nice packet. They do have a nice thick wipe. My issue with these is not like you're applying the rosehip oil to your face or it's not like it's in a product that stays on your face for a while like a moisturizer. You're just wiping your skin and cleaning off your makeup so I don't really know how much the oils or any product that's in this can really do for your skin because it's just not staying on your skin for a very long time. I finished up a toothpaste. This is the Colgate 2-in-1 uh, toothpaste and mouthwash. Mouth wash, mouth wash. Learn to speak, Rachel. Uh, this one is supposed to be whitening and I don't know whether it necessarily did anything amazingly whitening for my teeth but I do tend to go for whitening toothpaste and I do think they help if you are using other whitening products just to maintain that. I um, have since purchased the Colgate uh, Cavity Protect one with sugar acid neutralizer just because I have a lot of problems with cavities in my teeth. My teeth are quite porous and no matter how much I brush them, I tend to just have a lot of issues with them. So I'm going that way for now and I'm also trialing some uh, whitening strips instead of like a whitening toothpaste and I'm going to see how that goes. A couple of products that you are used to seeing a lot in my videos, dry shampoo. I don't think it's possible for me to have an empties video without dry shampoo. I think the world would end. It's, it's highly possible. Chlorine dry shampoo, fantastic for really oily hair. Spray it at night, work it into your hair. The white residue will be gone by the morning, even if you're someone like me who has dark hair. Love it. When I want to give my hair a refresh and I'm going out straight away, I like the Batiste dry shampoo with a hint of color. This one is the medium brunette one. I've at the moment repurchased the slightly darker brown, the deep brown one, because this one is always sold out. It's really hard to get. And the other one is, is an okay color for my hair anyway. So I would recommend these ones with a hint of color if you are worried about a uh, any kind of um, white or gray hue. I've actually got two of the chlorine ones just because I literally use that stuff like it's going out of style. I have a shampoo and conditioner. It is very rare that I stray from my herbal essences and that is what I have in my shower at the moment. But I thought I'd give something else a try. I used the L'Oreal El Vive Renutrition Nourishing Conditioner and Shampoo. I liked it. Didn't love it. The shampoo, I think, I mean, it is made for dry hair and I think maybe my hair even though the ends are really dry the roots are really oily this just didn't wash my hair it left my hair looking a little bit too much like it wasn't quite washed I like my roots to look really dried out I want them to be dry because they get oily again within a day so this is probably a little bit too hydrating for me the conditioner was nice I did use it on my ends and overall like I said I liked it didn't love it has not made me stray from my herbal essences, but if you do have really dry hair overall, then maybe this might be worth checking out. I have another shampoo. This is the Nature's Gate Shampoo, the Pomegranate and Sunflower Hair Defense, which is supposed to protect color enhanced hair from fading and is sulfate free. This one I hauled from iHerb a little while ago. I randomly picked it up because it had really good reviews on the website, and overall I quite enjoyed it. it was one of these ones, it was a natural shampoo that did still lather in my hair, it smelt nice. It can be a bit drying which was fine for me because like I said I, I like my shampoos to to almost dry out my hair, I like them to really cleanse my hair because my hair is so oily but if you had dry hair then you might, might find this a little bit too drying for you and that's what I kind of read on the reviews anyway so I knew that going in and for me it worked fine but I thought I would forewarn you. During that same iHerb haul, I did uh, get this. This is the Hot Chocolate Sugar Scrub from Giovanni. Uh, this one has crushed cocoa beans in it and oh my goodness, it smelled like chocolate cake batter. Like raw chocolate cake batter. Oh, you can still smell it. You can still smell it even though there's absolutely nothing left. It was one of those really kind of hydrating sugar scrubs. It kind of left a little bit of an 
oily residue on your skin. It was very hydrating. Not good for those of you who fake tan. It wouldn't be something that you'd use because the residue that it left would um, probably disturb your tan. But good for those of you who aren't necessarily great at moisturizing after you get out of the shower because it definitely like left some hydration in your skin. Some random bits and bobs that I'm coming at the end to here. I have the L'Occitane 20% Shea Butter Hand Cream. Really, really like this. Kept it in my um, bag for a little bit and then I had it in my bedside drawer because I really like to use it at night before I go to bed. It's quite hydrating. Um, it, did, it didn't leave much of a sticky residue. It did have a little bit, which is why I liked it for before bed because it was really hydrating but I didn't have to worry about my hands being slippery while I was using or doing anything. I have a little sample pot of the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye. This one is this kind of like um, gel cream. It was very gel-like so quite emollient but still thick and hydrating feeling. I actually quite liked this one. I, it's quite a small sample so I don't know how much it did for my eyes but I liked the way that it felt under my eyes. I, I thought it was easy to spread. I didn't feel like I had to tug my skin to work it into my skin and it was hydrating and I just I enjoyed it. I, I might be inclined to pick up this at some point a full size because I, I did enjoy using it but I don't know what true benefits it gave for the eyes because I mean honestly for me at the moment the, my only eye issue is some really fine lines right underneath sort of my lashes so this didn't make those go away or anything like that not that I expected it to I've used up one of the Daiso uh, detergent for puff and sponge. This is a detergent cleaner that is great for your makeup sponges. It cleans them out, does an awesome job of that. It's also good for the your really sort of dense, thick, like synthetic kabuki brushes. It's a bit harsh for any of your real hair brushes. Don't use it on your expensive like Hakuhodo or Wayne Goss or anything like that. It will be too drying for them. But something that's synthetic, like your Sigma, like, kabuki brushes like this if you really want to get them clean like really get the product out of it this does an awesome job and it's from Daiso so it's $2.80 per bottle okay last beauty product is the Aveda Infanti thickening conditioner I had a random sample of this and I'd run out of shampoo and conditioner and I grabbed this I don't know I don't really know whether it, it did an, an awesome job of thickening my hair or anything like that because I only got to use it once or twice but I did actually quite enjoy it it was a nice conditioner and maybe I should check out some of the Aveda products full size if you guys have an, a favorite Aveda hair care product let me know because I'd be interested in, in trying something from them I don't think I've tried any of their products before okay guys let's finish off this video with a couple of candles if you hurled out into the end High five to you. This has probably been a quite long video. I know I've been talking quite fast. I just want to get through this as quick as I can so you guys aren't bored out of your minds. Another candle from Bath & Body Works. This is the Watermelon Lemonade uh, White Barn Candle. Oh, this was a recent favorite of mine. Absolutely love it. It smells like watermelon with it's like a hint of lemonade-y to it. It's just fresh and fruity. And I can say from having this one that the three wick candles definitely give off the best scent throw. I've mentioned before that I do like the mason jar candles and that they do do a good job of giving off scent. I will say that I've had this scent in the mason jar and I've, now that I've had it in the three wick one that the three wick candle definitely was a stronger scent which is to be expected. It's bigger, it's got more wicks, the wax pulls and it um, there's more melted wax to give off a scent. And then lastly, it has recently been Halloween and I picked up the Glass House Halloween candle. This is called Pumpkin Pie. I was super, super excited that they brought out a Halloween candle. I don't know if they've ever done that before. I don't think they did. I don't remember one last year. This one smelled just like kind of like baked goods. It wasn't sort of super pumpkin-y. It was just kind of like vanilla, sugar, a hint of spice, but not a lot. If you don't like cinnamon or anything like that, I think you could still like this candle. And it was cool. It was orange and then it came with stickers and you could put whatever stickers that you wanted on it. Okay guys, so that is it for this empties video. I have spoken a lot probably very quickly. I apologize for that. Also, I'm sure my lighting was going crazy because the wind is going nuts outside and the clouds keep on blowing in front of the, the 
the sun. I don't even know what I'm saying. You need to stop talking, Rachel. I'm going to go, but share with me any products that you finished off in the comments below. I want to know if you'd recommend it for me. Also, check out the description box for all my social media links. You can subscribe there if you haven't already. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up so I know that you like Empty's videos. And other than that, I will see you guys all in my next one. Bye!